on that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Well, the FBI is warning Americans about a new ISIS threat. Now, this comes as they worry about the terrorist group reaching so many through social media. As we speak tonight, military bases and the White House are stepping up security. The feds say this is a general concern. The threats are not specific. Meantime, all five bases right here in New Mexico are on high alert, including Kirtland Air Force Base. The base is now operating on what they call a Bravo level. It's not the highest security rating, but it's much stricter than normal. Action 7 News reporter Aaron Hilf has more on what Kirtland and the other bases across the state are doing to prepare for the threats. Force Protection Bravo. It's the third highest threat level on the Department of Defense's five tiered system. And it means security at Kirtland Air Force Base has been beefed up just one day after the director of the FBI said there are thousands of ISIS followers online in the U.S. The Force Protection Condition was raised as a prudent measure. Um, not tied to any specific credible threat. But Kirtland isn't the only military base increasing security. Officials with U.S. Northern Command say every military installation around the world is doing the same. Including all military bases in New Mexico and White Sands Missile Range. We think that by raising our force protection condition levels now and then, we can better increase awareness and vigilance on the part of our DOD personnel and their families. Officials stress the increase is not tied to any specific threats, rather, quote, an increased and predictable threat of terrorism. Northern Command understands the current threat environment for what it is. Sky 7 saw military personnel searching a vehicle Friday morning. There's no word on how long the increased security might last. Aaron Hilf reporting right there. Now, if you have a child who goes to Sandia Elementary School on the base, Kirtland officials say you'll still be able to get on as long as you have those proper credentials. Albuquerque Public School officials told us there were some issues this morning. A teacher is under investigation.